The blessings of God is on your life. I don't know what you believe, what you're going through, but I am here to tell you that the hand of God is on your life. And all of a sudden, when you least expect it, things are going to turn around on your behalf, in your favor. But you cannot let go and just quit and get discouraged because things aren't going the way that you think that they should be going in this time. God is not uh, bound by time. Yes, us as humans, we are like looking at the clock all the time like, okay, Lord, um, <laughs> my time is running out. But God is not like bound to that. And he can do anything that he chooses to do his will when he chooses to do it. It's not about how many tears you've cried, if you've pouted or got upset at God and all of this stuff. But, you know, faith, we all know the scripture says faith pleases God. It's not about the tears. It's not about us whining or complaining, any of that. Yes, God loves us, but tears don't move God. I mean, you know, the human part of us, we're going to cry. We're going to have an attitude. We're going to be emotional. And God gives us grace for that. And he's just like, okay, have your moment. Because <laughs> I've been there many times. I've had many moments. And I know you probably had many moments too. But even in that, oh my gosh, God is just like, if you just be patient and just trust me. I bet, you know, my vision is he just like shaking his head like, oh man, here we go again, you know. <laughs> but God is so kind and he's so patient. So uh, in all my videos, I give testimonies, uh, my real life testimonies because I'm a real person and I love to encourage other people because God is not a respected person. If he can do it for me, he can do it for you. If he did it for you, he can do it for me, right? And we are to encourage one another, and that helps to build up each other's faith, right? Um, so in a previous video, I talked about how it was time for my son to go to kindergarten, and uh, God opened the door that we can get an apartment close to my friend, and she was able to help me out and get him to kindergarten, right? So let's just backtrack a little bit. So when um, the separation happened between me and her dad, I needed somewhere to go. Yeah. So I had, they were three and five during this time period, my boys, and I I was not working. <laughs> and I say, all, I'm giving y'all little cues and little behind the scenes of the story because God does not care about what you don't have. He has everything and he wants you to understand and realize that being that he's God and he has everything, that he's going to take care of you and that he has your back, right? All right, so I had to find somewhere to live. And I went to this apartment complex, right? Uh, say I had to get out of the, we were in a rental and we had to get out of rental by Monday. So I went to the apartment complex on a Friday and went in there and a the lady was like, uh, I said, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, apartment and I didn't need much or whatever, just me and the two little boys at the time. And so she had somebody she was helping and she was like, you know, give me just a moment. At first she was like, you know, we don't have anything, you know, or whatever, but just give me just a moment, whatever. So you gotta have patience. You gotta have patience with God. Don't just get up, don't fly off on the deep end because it's not that's not gonna work, right? So I had to, you know, have patience. And so she finished helping the people that she was, you know, already talking to or whatever. And then she was like, can you, you know, meet me outside for a moment? And I'm like, okay, that's weird. <laughs> okay, whatever. And so she took me outside and she was like, look, come back tomorrow and we will have a, you know, one bedroom apartment that you can rent out and um, you won't even have to pay the first month free. I mean, the first month. Now, y'all cannot tell me that that wasn't God. I don't care what you think. That was all God. That I went to the certain apartment complex. And then the lady even took me outside to tell me to come back the next day. I don't know what happened in one day, but that's how God can do stuff. But to come back the next day and that I can get, you know, open, you know, start a lease 
And I wouldn't even have to put money down. Mm, mm, mm. God is good. And he is so working behind the scenes because he already knew before I was even in my mother's room, moon, that this was going to transpire. So he put all the, the puzzle pieces together so that this could happen. And even, you know, even in that, so I got the apartment, hallelujah. <laughs> and so we needed food. I was not working. <laughs> I had, um, I was in the process of getting my dental hygiene license in the state that I was in, but it had not happened yet, right? So I was not working. Didn't have money. I was selling things to make money. I was selling like their their clothes on eBay, you know, when they had outgrown clothes and stuff like that. So um, to have gas money and stuff like that and some groceries here and there. But they were kids, so they were eating like chicken nuggets and Capri Suns. It wasn't nothing major, so that worked out well. Um, it was even to the point where, you know, I would take my boys to the mall and let them, you know how they give out food at the mall, you know, little samples and stuff. I, in order to feed them, I would take them to the mall and let them go around and eat the different samples that the people were handing out in the food court. But God is so good and God is so faithful. And I, I, I speak humbly before you because I know where I've been. And because I know where I've been, I know the blessings of God are upon my life. And I know the blessings of God are on your life. So I had to apply for um, like, like food stamps, you know, food assistance. And um, I went and initially, for some reason, I was denied. Um, but I ended up calling back and God put the right person on the phone. And this lady, she was such a blessing. And she worked her God-given magic. And do y'all not know? So that this was whew, years ago because they were three and five, and they're like almost grown now, <laughs> but um, young adults. But um, I was blessed to receive over six hundred dollars per month for food stamps. There is no way that me or my two little children that were three and five at the time could eat over six hundred dollars worth of groceries but that's how god is he does things abundant like beyond anything that we can ever imagine and that's scripture because his thoughts are not our thoughts and his ways are not our ways so he will blow our minds so that we can only give him glory and only give him credit and praise. And that is what I'm doing. There is nothing that I could have done besides be obedient and, you know, apply for assistance. And he just took over. He was like, you know, I got you. I got you and them two little boys and y'all going to be okay. So now we have an apartment. It was a one bedroom apartment and we had over $600 in groceries. And I was even able to bless um, our adopted grandma at the time and buy her groceries and stuff like that. But when you're a blessing, you bless other people. And so that is even why I'm speaking to you all now, because I want to be a blessing to you all. And like, even in my vlogs, if you're not watching my vlogs, please watch my vlogs, because that way you're able to see like my everyday life for the most part. And I even post on my Instagram stories, but this life that I speak of, it's real. Like, you know, a lot of people say, oh, they post stuff online and it's not real. Like I have re re receipts, like my friends know um, about my life, my day-to-day -day life. And my vlog show my day-to-day -day life. I will not sit in front of this screen and lie to you about the goodness of God. God is so good. God is so, so, so good. So another testimony, I'm not going to try to make these videos long. I just, I just love me some Lord. I love the Lord. <laughs> but all right. So fast. Okay. No, not fast forward. Let's see. We're, um, so I lived at one point on the East Coast. The boys were born on the East Coast and had a big house at the time. Uh, you get paid more on the East Coast because cost of living is higher and all that stuff. Right. So I uh, had a house and end up, I was trying to sell the home before I moved to where I am now, but I was unable to do so. Y'all, I really, really tried and I could not sell the house, but it was time to move. And, um, I had to walk away from the house. 
Oh, that was rough. I had never done anything like that before. So that, that really stressed me out because um, I felt so irresponsible, right? But anyway, so fast forward. Um, we're living in um, that second apartment that I told you about in the, in the previous video, uh, the one when he was uh, in kinder. And so we're living our life, you know, whatever. And, you know, as a single mom, it's hard. And if you're not a single parent, you probably just don't get how hard it is, but it's very hard. But God is able. He has, he, you know, he, he strengthened me and I know he'll strengthen you. And, you know, sometimes your finances are not what you would want them to be. But in the midst of this, um, I'm still, I'm a giver. And so I believe in giving my 10% back to God. That's just me. Do you? Um, and I remember checking the mail and do y'all not know now I, I speak on all these testimonies and i hope y'all being blessed by these testimonies because he gonna bless you too but uh i went to check the mail do y'all not know mm, mm, mm. i got a check in the mail from the loan office of the um house that i had to walk away from and basically the uh, letter said, we apologize to you because we know that you were trying to sell your home and you were unable to. So because of that, we wanted to send you a check. Can we just, can we pause right there and just give God glory? That's the kind of God that I serve. They, they, I walked away from a house and they apologized to me and sent me a check. God, we thank you. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, boy, the blessings of God will overtake you. Y'all got to stay tuned for more, for more testimonies. I, I, I hope that you are blessed. I hope that you live your life in expectancy because that's how i live my life every single day i'm just like you know even regarding money i'm like money comes to me money is coming to me from the east the west the south and the north i claim it I, my bank account is blessed i don't care what it looks like my bank account is blessed money finds me yes and money is going to find you if you're having financial situ uh, issues right now money is going to find you speak life we are not speaking um lack or anything like that we are speaking that we have abundance that we live in abundance so these are my real life testimonies that i love to share and encourage um anyone who chooses to watch these videos because you know you just never know out of obedience that god is telling me to tell others i've just prayed that you're blessed and that you like you know stay tuned for more because i did not go through what i went through just to keep it to myself I want to share the goodness of God with others. So thanks y'all for listening to my little AP closet talks <laughs> and um, stay tuned for more.